The wind howled through the canyons, mirroring the turmoil within Jacob. Years had passed since his betrayal, yet bitterness clung to him like dust in the desert. He'd driven away his brother Esau, stolen his birthright, and the consequences weighed heavy. Sleep offered no respite, haunted by memories of Esau's heartbroken face. One day, weary and lost, Jacob stumbled upon a hidden oasis, sheltered by ancient palms, a well-offered cool, life-giving water. As he drank, his eyes fell upon smooth stones etched with strange symbols. He recognized them, Hebrew inscriptions, remnants of an abandoned temple. Curiosity peaked. He traced the words and discovered stories of prophets and kings, of forgiveness and redemption. One story, the tale of Moses pleading with God to forgive the Israelites, resonated deeply. But the Lord said to Moses, Go ahead and write down these words, for this is the covenant I am making with Israel and Judah. Exodus 34 27. Hope flickered within him. Could God's forgiveness reach even his hardened heart? He spent days in that oasis, immersing himself in the scriptures. Words of healing and compassion washed over him like the gentle desert rain. He learned of David's deep remorse of Jonah's second chance of the prodigal son welcomed back with open arms. The burden that had crushed him began to lighten, replaced by a yearning for reconciliation. With a newfound resolve, Jacob set out to find Esau. The journey was arduous, the miles marked by scorching sun and self-doubt. Finally he saw Esau approaching, eyes narrowed with suspicion. Jacob braced himself for rejection but something shifted in Esau's gaze, recognition, then hesitation, then forgiveness. Tears streamed down their faces as they embraced, years of hurt melting away. They spent days sharing stories rebuilding their bond. Jacob had found forgiveness not just from Esau, but from himself. He realized that forgiveness wasn't about erasing the past, but about learning from it, letting go of bitterness, and choosing a different path. Returning home, Jacob wasn't the same man, he carried the lessons of the oasis within him, sharing stories of forgiveness and hope with his family and community. The wind still whispered through the canyons but now it carried a message of peace, a testament to the transformative power of forgiveness, and the second chance it offered to even the most broken hearts.